What happens when you forgot your iPhone passcode if you keep entering the wrong passcode on your iPhone? The iPhone may get disabled, which will make it harder to unlock. If you want to reset the iPhone passcode without losing the data, keep watching the video, as it will show you how to back up your data and reset your iPhone passcode. Step 1. Make a backup of your iPhone data. Launch iTunes and connect your iPhone to the computer, then click on the iPhone icon, and click Backup Now. Wait until the backup process is finished. Step 2. Remove iPhone passcode with Stars Soft Key Pass. First, launch Stars Soft Key Pass if you have connected the iPhone to computer. Keep it connected and you don't need to reconnect it. Click Next and download the firmware. Wait for it to verify and extract. When the extraction is completed, begin the unlocking process and follow the on screen instruction. In this way, you can remove the passcode to reset it. If you would like to give Stars Soft Key Pass a try, Click the download link below to give it a try. It can work for all iPhones, even if you have iPhone 13 or iPhone with iOS 15. Step 3. Get your data back to your iPhone. After resetting passcode, relaunch iTunes. Click on the phone icon and it shows welcome to your new iPhone. Click continue. If it pop up a notice to turn off Find My on the iPhone, go to iPhone to turn on Find My. Then continue restore, then it will get all the data back to your iPhone. Tips for recover iPhone passcode without losing data. Number 1. Always allow access to USB accessories. When using iTunes to back up your iPhone, you should keep your USB accessories enabled. Otherwise, you won't be able to successfully connect your iPhone with iTunes. Go to Settings and find the Touch ID and Passcode or Face ID and Passcode. Enter your passcode. Then scroll down to set up the USB accessories and enable it. Number 2. Keep backups on iCloud. iCloud can also be used to back up your data. Turn on your iCloud backup feature, and choose the things you want to backup always, which will save you a lot of time to backup manually. That's all for this video. Welcome to Subscribe Bus to learn more tips. See you next time.